what's going on? This is Jim V. Dental with my you, PDR2 re review of the Arkansas toothpick set from PDR Finesse. Let's do it. Well, hey, what's going on, everybody? I am back. You couldn't get rid of me that easily. Today, we are looking at the PDR Finesse Arkansas toothpick set. I've made a no secret about my affection for PDR Finesse tools. I've only ever bought one tool I haven't been thrilled with, and that was a freaking window guard. Give me a break, that's okay. Any hail guy worth anything definitely has a pick set running around on his tool cart somewhere from those aluminum panels and hard to reach areas. For me and most guys I know, that was the ultra set for a long time. Let's take a look at the finesse. I was definitely excited when they came out with this, and let's see how it differs. First thing that's not immediately obvious is the finesse has a little bit steeper angle of kick on it. You might not be able to tell, but the finesse tool on the left is also way sharper. Like, really wicked, wicked sharp. One thing that everybody noticed is that the finesse doesn't have that knurled aluminum tear up your hands on a long hailstorm kind of grip. Your first run with the Ultra Tools will definitely get some calluses on you. A friend of mine asked about the flex, so I, I performed some seriously unscientific research. The smallest two tools in the set you should definitely expect flex from because they're very small in diameter, but this is the middle one. I was able to get this much flex out of the Ultra. And using a comparable PDR finesse. Now I'd like to note that these are all just a hair longer than the Ultra counterparts. I was able to get this much flex. That difference is hard to visualize, so using some movie magic, I'll put them on top of each other. The top is the Ultra, the bottom is a finesse. The finesse does have a bit more flex to it. One thing we can say for certain is that these tools are crazy sharp. Now, I didn't even notice any flex in this tool until I was working on this panel. Now, this is an aluminum hood that had some really big hail shots in it. That being said, I started working with the Ultra Tool as well, just to see the difference. And I think by being so sharp, this negates some of that flexing effect. So I would have to call that a draw. I don't know. It's gonna be a personal preference thing. Any kind of application like shrinking or tiny precise cleanup work, man, this thing is the business. This is Dent Tools Freaks. So you know we'll ask the important, hard-hitting questions. So which one makes a better shank? Here's where the Ultra Tool has the advantage in this test. That knurled aluminum handle does not get as slippery when bodily fluids are present. But because the PDR finesse is sharper, it takes a little less effort. What about when used as a thrown weapon? Both tools were extremely accurate. We're gonna start out with the PDR finesse here and let me show you what we came up with. Damn, look at that penetration. Now the Ultra. The extra heft of the PDR finesse gave it more stopping power. It takes this round. The finesse Arkansas toothpicks are really good tools. The comfortable handles alone have made them replace the Ultras on my cart. They are comfortable and, as demonstrated, quite deadly. Extra angle on the kick didn't bother me a bit, and because they are so much sharper, neither did the Flex. They could be yours for 350 bucks, comparable to the Ultra, at www.pdrfinesse.com. You make sure you tell them the Dent Tools Freak sent you.